take a look at this picture here. This was me when I was playing my basketball team, right? So, there are 11 players in this photo, including me, and 12 if you're counting the coach. Nine out of these 12 people are black. And the only people in this photo that aren't black at all is this French Canadian guy here. This Vietnamese guy. And this kid from El Salvador. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some. I assume are good people. All jokes aside, let's get to the reason why I'm making this video. The NBA is 80% black, and this video will solve why that is the case. What's good YouTube with your boy James? Hope it's all good for you cause it's all good for me. So the last time I got an answer from Quora, which was this story proves how good bad NBA players are, did really well actually. It got 10 likes so I'm really happy for that. If you guys are new viewers here, definitely subscribe and like the video here and hit the bell for notifications cause I'll be making some more fire NBA content every Thursday for y'all. So let's get right into the answer. So Anonymous answered a question back in December 2010 that stated, why are so many today's American professional football and basketball players black? There are many more white players at the college level than the professional leagues. Is this a trend characteristic of only contact sports? And just by his first paragraph, you could tell this was going to be a really controversial answer. As he said, this is a fair question, but one that is very dangerous to answer today's politically correct society. So, this can really offend some people, and don't worry, the answer's not going to be long. I'm going to have a timer on the screen, so that way you get to tell how long the answer is. I'll start with the less controversial part of the answer. Black Americans are overrepresented in professional basketball because basketball is prominent in African American culture. Just as it was common for white kids to play Sandlot baseball games in the days before video games took over, and kids throughout the entire world growing playing soccer, it is very common for black kids to grow up playing basketball recreationally. The skills that they gain from this give them a leg up on others when it comes time to start playing basketball competitively in high school or earlier, which then leads to more black players making it to top college programs and the NBA eventually over time. The more controversial part of the answer is that black Americans likely have a genetic advantage over white Americans. When it comes time to play sports that require speed, power, and agility, while there are examples of white athletes doing well in these sports, there's no denying that black athletes largely dominate track and field spring events, basketball, and many positions in football, including the right back position. While black athletes are more likely to start developing basketball skills early on than white kids, this is not the case for football. An alternative theory, but possibly just as valid, is that black youth receive relatively more positive reinforcement for athletic success than white kids do. It does prioritize it more so than white kids. Do Asian kids outperform others because of raw intelligence? Possibly, but it probably has to do more with the emphasis based on education in many Asian cultures and pressures from parents. A parallel phenomenon could also be occurring for black kids in major sports. If you're curious, this story got over 50,000 views and 100 upvotes. Maybe if it wasn't such a controversial answer, then there would probably have been more upvotes. But that's the funny thing because in the early parts of the NBA, guys like George Markey and Bob Pettit and Bob Cowsey were the OGs. They were all white guys. But then eventually over time, black players started to take over not only on the basketball court, but make it as a culture. And as a black person myself, I can definitely agree with that. And also, look at LeBron James. When he was 16 years old, he was a genetic freak. Do you think any other race would have a 16-year-old at 6'8 and 240 pounds and dominate basketball with facility like LeBron James did? No, I don't think so. So, that was the end of the video, man. That's the reason why the NBA is predominantly black. If you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If you stick to the end, you're a beast. And at 100 subscribers, I'll be doing weekly Q&As where I get your questions from Hardwood Amino. This is my Hardwood Amino account here. And this was your boy James. Hope it's all good for you, because it's all good for me. I'm out, guys.